a special one today. Why me? Have you got that? Wouldn't you like to know? my lord. There's one from Buckingham Palace. Haven't we? But we really need to cut back until the farms repay the investment, and we must make a plan for the roof. Well, this won't help us to economise. What is it? The king and queen are coming to stay. What? During their Yorkshire tour? That's it. Just for a night. They'll spend one night at Downton and then go on to Harwood for a ball. While they're here, there's to be a parade of the Yorkshire Hussars in the village. Is there any chance Henry might be back? Well, I doubt it. I'll send a telegram, but there's a motor show in Chicago that I know he cannot chuck. Tom, you're keeping your enthusiasm under control. Is this the Irish patriot making a reappearance? I know you find my opinions highly entertaining. I suppose they'll send people to check that Mrs. Patmore isn't a Russian spy. Mm. Will you tell them downstairs, Barrow? I'll see to her ladyship. Yes, my lord. A royal luncheon, a parade, and a dinner. I'm going to have to sit down. What about Mr Branson? What about him? Well, he's a Republican, isn't he? Should Mr Carson look in, no one is to say that word in front of him. I agree with Mr Branson. I don't like kings either. I suppose that makes me a Republican too. Are the English allowed to be? <laughs> Quite an honour. It is, but if I know anything about royal visits, we will never stop changing our clothes. <laughs> I've just been on a buying spree, which is good. Madam Henley Seymour's making me a ball dress, so I'll get her to hurry it up. Have her send it here. How are things otherwise? Oh, you know. I've got a luncheon for 30 today in aid of the lifeboats. What is that tomorrow? Anyway, it's in aid of something. Sounds like business as usual. I'll see you soon, darling. You know, I can bring back as many vegetables as we could eat. Oh, yeah, I like to keep busy. How have they taken the news up at the house? Daisy singing the Marseillaise, <laughs> so no surprises there. <sighs> oh, what's the matter? I thought you'd be pleased. I am pleased. The visit is a great honour. But members of the royal and imperial household are coming to Downton who will have visited the greatest houses in the land. Blenheim, Chatsworth, Arundel. Does Mr. Barrow know what he's taking on? Why should it affect you? You're not in charge anymore. Now, come in for your lunch and let me get back. All right, sir. Here we are. This will do very well. Thank you. Lady Bagshaw, Your Majesty. Good. We'll go to the 1844 room as soon as they're here. Do sit down. I've just received the plan for the tour of Yorkshire, ma'am. Yes, it's just been finalised. I think we'll enjoy it. I didn't realise we would be staying at Downton Abbey. Only for a night. There's to be a parade and a dinner, and then we go on to Princess Mary at Harwood. I just wondered if I might perhaps go straight to Harwood. Lord Grantham is my cousin, and the two families have fallen out. Or at least we might, if I were there in person. And what would cause this quarrel? Lord Grantham's mother believes her son should be my heir. 
Old Lady Grantham can be very hard to resist, as I am well aware. Exactly, ma'am. But surely they need to know if their hopes are to be disappointed. I wish I knew if they like simple food or fancy. I can't think they'll want simple food with that sort. Though they like sauces and everything volute and frappy and smothered in cream. That sort? He's the king of England. There's only one of them in the world. That sort, indeed. Don't plan too much. Not until we know what's expected. Well, I know what's expected of me. Food. You too, Daisy. So less philosophy, more elbow grease. Is the pudding ready? It is. Look, Daisy, take the souffles out of the oven while I find my specs. This country needs a shake-up. Oh, well, you should run for Parliament. <laughs> Why not? Lady Astor's done it. And so an undercook from Yorkshire's bound to follow her. We've well, got to have big dreams. But do you have big dreams, Andy? I've not offended you, have I? Why do you say that? Well, for a start, you never talk about the wedding anymore. We'll get wed when we're good and ready, and not before. But you see, I am ready. Take those up before they collapse. Maud Bagshaw is coming to Downton. Yes, as the Queen's lady in waiting. Oh, my goodness. Why so surprised? Who is she? Well, she's a cousin of your father's. We'll, we'll discuss it later. You're not to make things awkward. How's it all going? The Mary's got it under control. Hardly. There's so much to do. Who are those men measuring on the green as we came past? They're building the dais for the Queen at the parade. Oh, how exciting. Seems rather a waste of money. Oh, here we go. Isn't that what the monarchy's for? To brighten the lives of the nation with stateliness and glamour? To quote Tennyson, kind hearts are more than coronets and simple faith than Norman blood. Will you have enough cliches to get you through the visit? If not, I'll come to you. Thank you, Mary. And now, are you going to tell us about Lady Bagshaw? Is she a very distant cousin? No, her father was my great uncle. Then why have I never heard of her? Because she chose to cut herself off from the family. Do you know the reason? Maybe. See, I believe she means to cheat your father of his rightful inheritance. She has no children. Your father is her nearest relation. I won't have her put on the spot. You're plotting something. I see a Machiavellian look in your eye. Machiavelli is frequently underrated. He had many qualities. So did Caligula, not all of them charming. <laughs> what are you up to, Granny? Well, ideally, I would like Maud to see your father as the son she never had. Will she be the mother I never had? Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Hello. Mr. Mosley, it's very late for you to be out. Is it true? Is what true, Mr. Mosley? Mr. Bakewell said that you'd warned him that there was to be a royal visit. Well, now I know who not to trust with a secret. That we should deserve such honor. Not you two. I am disappointed. Ignore her. I wonder, do you think I might be allowed to slip on my livery again? Well, would the school let you? Oh, they'll give me time for this, I promise. Well, let's wait till we know our orders. What about it, Mr. Barrow? Will you let me wait upon my king and queen? Uh, well, <laughs> that's us. Good night, Mr. Lowell. Uh, and we're done. Shall I fetch Johnny or William? I can fetch him. How exciting. <laughs> Thank you. They're all mental. <laughs> all this fuss for a man and woman we don't even know. No, never mind that. I wanted to tell you. I've had some ideas about what to serve at your wedding. Stop going on about my wedding. 